Oh. Okay, so welcome back to the last bracket of the eight crews of Sordo for 2016. We decided to move Perusi over um, with Perno and Gabuti, seeing it sat in the in the sort of the cusp of, of being in the bold and uh, taste them together again. So interesting contrast and, and comparison for us too. But, um, so we talked a little bit about Perusi before being in. Um, Castiglione Foletto to the north of uh, of the village and uh, and and close to the the border with Serralonga. We have two other communes, two other wines here. So Perno Monforte. Perno from Lower Monforte. So yeah. so it's one of it's one of those three large um, crew of Monfort, uh, which is Bussia in the north, and then mm -hmm. uh, Ginestra, the Great Ginestra, and Perno. Uh, all three identifiably Montfort, uh, yeah. but all, all three with different characteristics. The Perno is is one is a wine like given the size of the, the the commune and you know the dozen or so people that produce one. There's almost none seen in Australia. Yeah, and it is you know it is one of the great wines um, of Barolo. You know yes. I'm not saying it's top ten. It might be eleven and a half. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. such a, it's just so fascinating, and and I've got to say, having tasted these seven or eight times now since the the set arrived, it's, it's probably my favourite wine at the moment because it just it's just in return for a pretty ferocious tannin regime, and that's Montfort. You know, it's they're hard going for for the novices, but they but that same tannin is what some people want more of, but it, it, you know it can be hard going, and it. It suggests to a lot of people that the wine's unbalanced, mm -hmm. but it's not. You, you never get a. You hardly get a seamless Montfort. Tannin yeah. comes with the territory, but what it gives you in in as a as a reward is definitely the most. Uh, well, I won't say complex, but the most complexities. A bit like Chateau Neuf du Pup, you can almost guarantee they have twelve to fourteen as many aromatics as they've got components. Yep. Yep. Montfort has out of Nebbiolo can give you somewhere around 10, 11, 12 you know aromatics. Um, yep. Cigar box, for example, um, or, or sandalwood. You know the 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 the, the perfume wood underlay of a great uh, great uh, perfume. Mm -hmm. um, it has um, a, me a mentholy sort of character. It's, it, in this case, it's it, it's it's uh, it smells like a uh, a herb they call uh, balsamico. Yep. Cat mint, I suppose, or a sage cat mint is something uh, th that we'd relate to. And and Montfort is the only one that usually shows that menthol. You see it occasionally in other wines. But do you know what fascinates me about uh, fascinates me about this wine at the moment is the sheer depth and length of flavour. Yep. It's, it, it's, it's extreme in that scenario, but endless. it's also, yes, it has loads of tannin, but gee, it's, it's very good tannin, and it's layered. It's almost got a nuttiness to that tannin, and it, it's, it, if, if, it just immediately reminded me of the 2010 Reserva. Ripe tannins. And because ripe tannins, but when you get that extra half a dozen years of age on them, they soften out a little bit, and the flavours uh, meld, build, a little bit of extra generosity comes. It's already generous. Yeah, it is, isn't it? And it, 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 they come together so beautifully, the, the extra secondaries layer in. It's That's where I see that wine going, like that 2010 Reserva, um, Perno Reserva. It's, it's, it's looking very good. Yeah, this, yeah, exactly. A great wine expands on its base. Yep. over time really good wines get shown up by their age they contract you know yep. they they this will no doubt you know just just keep expanding for a number of years for uh, sure very good wine mm, very good, good beauty wine. i thought you'd and like it so gabuti is an, uh, an interesting one um also uh capilano's vineyard gabuti uh in uh, in Sierra Longa. so that's a that's a that's a pretty big name and uh, yeah. shows the standard of the uh, the vineyard because a lot of people haven't heard of Kabuki before. But no. Geez, it's a geez, it's a fun vineyard. It has it has life and elegance <clears throat> to it, and and this <clears throat> this wine, this year, uh, this year has has extra dimension, of yeah, that, those smoky graphitey, um, that shell is almost glossy this year, and yeah. it tells me it's a classy year of almost endless depth. 
Mm. Um, I, I think this will be, many people will regard this as the best wine of the lineup over time. I just, I've seen it a few times. Mm. Everything about it, it's, it's fascination, it's, it's proven layers. Uh, the power in the mouth, but the elegance and the length of flavour will m mark it as potentially a great wine of the vintage. And that's, I'm careful about using that word greatness yep. Um, yep. Because, and, and about wines that I'm associated with, just go, go easy. Yep. But I, I think this wine might be a, a, a great. Yep, yep. Well, and for me, just looking at that wine, um, what I'm seeing in here is, is definition. Beautiful definition, line and length, beautiful flowers. Um, the sophistication in the in the tannins over the the tannins of of Montfort, which 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 are a bit more robust, yeah, you know, immediately. Yeah. Um, well, uh, I mean, where else could this come from? This is Seralunga, and it's why people yeah. it's why people are paying big money over there for the for the acreage, yeah. and it's why a lot of people this is their foremost commune. Yeah. You know, whether it's Vigna Rionda yeah. or or Cereta or Blumen um, uh, Lazzarito or Francia, you know, it is or yeah. or, or Giacosa Zarocchi, of course. Uh, um, yeah, how, Faletto. Many, how many good, it, it, how many the, good of the great of the great wines? And it's interesting when you look at the, the maps and the definition that's been given to the crews in Serralunga. Uh, Serralunga, along with Castiglione and Faletto, have to be the two most defined in terms of uh, allocation to individual crews. Yep. Uh, and I think the work that's been put into that has been put into it for a reason. Um, they're two, certainly two great communes. Um, this year's Gabuti is. Definitely something special. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It, it has everything. It has everything. It is a very, very complete wine. I don't, yeah, I yeah. am, uh, yes. yes. Porcini, <laughs> um, mushroom or beef stock, smoke, uh, good cigar. Uh, there's a bit of, a little, little bit of cherry cola, uh, the, fennel it's, seed. It's the layering, the complexity of that wine, uh, and still the incredible core of fruit. There's so much energy to that wine, so much lovely, lovely perfume. It's not ponderous, it's, it's, it's elegant, isn't it? It is. Super refined, beautiful, beautiful wine. Which means we have to have a quick scratch and sniff of Perusi again, seeing we chucked it in yeah. the bucket. I'll have a, have a, have a look. Oh. It's the basket of flowers. See, it, 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 it echoes the previous bracket, you know, the yeah. basket of flowers. Yeah. Probably a little fresher than, f fresher flowers than mm -hmm. the other wines. That might be the essential difference. You can actually smell new, fresh, fresh things about it. Mm. Fruitiness and flowers. But the tannins, the tannins by comparison are wimpy. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Compared to the, the, yeah. the, 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 um, the chalky green twiggy tannins of the uh, Montfort and uh, the Perno and the um, what I call black tea tannins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lapsang Souchon or some woman thing, um, black tea lovely, tannins. Lovely wine. Look, I, I think if I was to sum up everything that we've seen today, we, we have seen what I was hoping to see. I was hoping to see it based on what I'd seen from 2016 Barbaresco, 2016 Langi Nebbiolos. Um, and sort of knowledge of where the vintage had gone, and it's come through in spades in this in this in this year. We've 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 got that extra bit of energy. We've got that extra length of uh, and and depth of flavour and aroma, but that freshness and that vibrance and that energy. And there's all just that's it's just that extra bit of definition in the aromas, the flavours, and the tannins that adds a, de a degree of sophistication. Um, this is undoubtedly uh, a, a great set of wine, uh, and one that I think if we do that exercise, and even if, if we manage to do it once every couple, once of, years couple of years and have a look at the, the bracket, you'd get so much from it. Yeah. Uh, it's a yeah. wonderful, wonderful yeah. set of wines. Um, yes, I made, I, I, when I tasted these on my own, I did make more notes, I noticed of, I made about a, uh, a, a, as much as a page more notes than I normally do. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, there's auto suggestion that I've convinced myself because it, it's 16. Yeah. But uh, no. no doubt, just the things you need to write about them, to, you need to yeah. talk about, it tells you that you've got a, you've got a, a hyped vintage that's every bit 
there is there yeah. is something very very special with yep. this wine. So look, I hope you enjoyed our, our little exploration of uh, of Barolo, uh, first batch of 2016 through the through the system. Um, bloody wonderful wines. We do have Alyssa. Um, is it Alisa? Alisa? Yeah, Alisa, Alisa Sordo, the uh, the young Dynamo partner of uh, Giorgio Sordo coming back to the market. I think Australia has some attractions. You know, it's it's a yeah. fun it's a fun place, yeah. and you know people people have fun as they're they're talking about um, at, uh, talking about serious wine. So she yeah, reckons yeah. that's not a bad combination. Yeah. So yeah, she's so coming back in May. And so we're going to organise a bunch of dinners. David will hopefully be able to make it to a couple of them. Um, we'll spend some time with her, we'll look through uh, 16s, maybe a couple of back vintages uh, and, uh, and, and you'll have an opportunity to see them. Um, so great to see these, thanks for air freighting these over for us to have a look at. So yeah, shout out if you've got any questions, any queries and we're, we'll be happy to happy to help you out david thanks so much again might for, do this again someday yeah an excellent experience thanks mate Alrighty, righty beauty and we'll see you next time guys